listen. I am a wronged man. And you know what? I did the only thing that I could do. I did the right thing when I gave Vince the footage. This is my house! I'm gonna break you, bitch. You hear me? Oh, no! Take two, because we did it before, and it got messed up. I am Bobby. I am always here with Nick. Hey. What's up, man? 34 gone? 34 was deleted on accident. D- delete! On delete accident. Wait, on accident? Well, it never really recorded, I guess. We uh, went to try to do all the editing, and it said it was there, but there was no time on it. So, so that last wonderful show gone. is gone. It says it's there, but it just doesn't have any length. So. <laughs> is your is your like computer Vanguard negative one? Uh, something like that. I don't know. I think uh, I might have done something when I was trying to record it. I don't know. I kind of messed my computer today. But you know, so hopefully everything up and runs because we have WrestleMania in less than uh, two weeks. We have in eleven days. It's be very very fun. Seven a lot of stuff going on. Hours of mania. Yeah, so you, you said there's some really, really horrible breaking news. I want to get this out of the way because yeah. it's something – if we're going to get into a bunch of humor and a lot of fun stuff, I want to yeah, get this out of the way. Let's this pull that crap. band-aid off real quick. Um, right, unfortunately, breaking just of now, um, as, as probably most people have heard over the weekend, uh, Jared's wife was in a accident. She was hit by a car while riding her Vespa and was placed in critical condition. Unfortunately, to report that he has passed away. So our, our hearts and condolences go out to the, the Jim Ross family. Um, that's a voice from like my childhood and like never know. I don't even know what his wife looks like, but that fucking sucks, dude. And so my, my heart goes out to Jim Ross. I'll have some barbecue for you. Yeah, man, that is heart fucking, that's heartbreaking. Man. It's just, I can't really put in any other words. Um, yeah. JR is the voice of our generation for wrestling. You know, I know there's a lot of other people young, like, you know, when we were kids, there were other people, you know, but when it really comes down to our generation of wrestling, since we're only like, I just turned 30, you are about to turn 30, correct? Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the twins are fucking over. Yeah. So, it you know, sucks. our generation for the most part, besides maybe our early childhood was mostly Jim Ross and, and Jim Ross. Oh, yeah, Joey Styles. But, you mean, the main person was Jim Ross. And for him, just, you know, to have this happen so suddenly, like, you mean, what what's going through my family right now with my dad and all that, that sucks. We're watching it happen. But for what's happening, for to have the Jim Ross, you know, for his wife just to hit, she was driving a Vespa and, like, got hit. And all of a sudden now she's in the hospital and now she dies. That's just life-changing out of nowhere. And that's just horrible. So, yeah, our definitely our condol- condolences go out to his family. That's really rough. Yeah. Um, one of my heroes died this weekend outside of wrestling news, but the uh, legendary comic book artist Bernie Wrightson passed away to his uh, his battles with cancer. Uh, fuck cancer. Yeah. Fuck uh, cancer. Yep. Why, why can't WWE do that promotion? No, no, they do. Pro- they they don't do anything like. I mean, it's not it's not a uh, unknown fact, but yeah, my dad's battling prostate and bone cancer, and it's getting really really bad. It's pretty sad for me. But, you mean, they don't talk about that. You'd think for guys, they'd talk about prostate cancer. They would talk about, you know, a lot of those kind of cancers. Ropes testicular are already cancer. red huh? on Raw. The ropes are already red on Raw. It's a red ribbon. Yeah, you mean, so, but now they, they, they do the uh, breast cancer awareness, which I think is great. You know I mean, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do that. But I think, you know, wrestling is, you know, predominantly dudes. Like, you know I mean? It's mostly a guy's kind of entertainment. I'm not saying there's not women who like it, but, you know, mostly guys watch it. And you would think it'd be more guy related, but they do the breast cancer awareness, which is fine, but they think they should spread it out and do more. Yeah. All right. Enough of the sad shit. Let's get into some fun wrestling. What are you talking about? Sad shit. You see all those porns that came out uh, this week? (laughs) There was a lot of porn this week. Oh man. There was a lot of boobs. Bare naked ladies and not the horrible band. (laughs) Ugh. Ugh. (laughs) So, you want to yeah. talk, talk about uh, 
a messed up ice cream sandwich or what? <laughs> <laughs> Double stuff. Yeah, dude. Uh, so first it came out of Paige. Paige had pictures and then videos. And first we thought it was Brad Maddox. There's been talks about Brad Maddox having this porn for a long time. Has never shown it. But to find out the wild card in this, New Day member Xavier Woods. He went up, up, down, down. Oh, yeah, man. They were definitely on the same page. All the jokes have been this week. Oh, man. (laughs) Keep it tight. (laughs) It's definitely not tight in there. But uh, Alberto Del Rio is doing a class act. Man, he's being a class act right now saying, you know, Paige didn't want to leave the house. She didn't want to do anything. And he was like, fuck that. Like, fuck the world. Let's go hang out. And he still loves her and is all with her. So as much as I thought this relationship was kind of bullshit, I mean. She was fucking 19. Yeah. Like, I did some dumb shit when I was 19. I didn't videotape it. (laughs) Like, come on. Like, honestly, like. With, with the leaks and, like, with everyone's, like, nude photos coming out, and, and it sucks. Like, that's an invasion of privacy. Yeah. And, like, you did it to send to somebody that you loved or you cared about. Maybe you just wanted to, like, look how good your boobs looked. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just thought it was hot. I don't fucking know because I don't personally take pictures of me doing things to send to fucking people. Oh, poor Amanda. <laughs> she, she doesn't get those uh those nick dick pics <laughs> no there's no there's no snick dick pics it's a nickelodeon joke for our, yes. our young audience snickelodeon <laughs> snickelodeon <laughs> um <laughs> so let's go down the list of all the women that had pictures come out this week for wrestling there was Paige, there was <laughs> caitlin summer ray maria uh, Victoria. Maria and in Playboy. Like, yeah, that's what I said too. It doesn't really matter for Maria. Like, She's showing everything. Seen Nick Nellis naked. Yeah, she still looks. Maybe great. Mike Bennett hasn't seen it, but I'm pretty sure he has. <laughs> I feel bad being he's they're married and she takes so many pictures just to show on Twitter. I'm sure he has. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it sucks for him because it's always like selfies. Like, where the hell's Mike taking these pictures? <laughs> I don't know. I'm talking uh, spicy. <laughs> um, uh. But uh, Victoria, you, saw, you saw all the pictures, though. Who would you consider was, like, that bad? Like, so who, like rank them almost. Who's the best and worst of those, all those pictures? Well, um, I, have a, I, have a, I have a live studio audience. You have to understand this. this is, um, well, that's fine. You mean what? They don't think people are so attractive? Paige had... I'm not saying you're going to go jerk off. <laughs> no, I, I think none of the pictures did anything for me. It was like, oh, that's cool. Like, you're... It's the shit you would send some dude you want to fuck on Tinder. I would say out of all of them, I would say Caitlyn probably looked the best. Well, she's built like a fucking tank. Yeah, but she got some nice ass. Yeah, well, she does a lot of squatting. Yeah, squatting on dick like Paige. Oh! <laughs> so, but here's, here's my thing with Paige. All the other girls, fucking fine. There was, a, there was an early picture of Paige's ass. With a title belt. And I was like, oh, no, no, don't do anything with the belt. And then the videos came out. And she broke the cardinal fucking rule, man. You don't, <laughs> you don't, like, you don't jizz on the belt. You don't have your boyfriend jerk off over the fucking thing that is the most prestigious thing for what you are fighting for. Yeah, that's like coming a Bible. Though that is fun. I recommend everybody do it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know, I mean, man. Like I think it's it's crazy that she'd actually want to do that, though. I don't know. You think she'd have more class than that, though, just for the sheer fact that her family's been in the wrestling business for so long. And that's the thing. That should be she should be punished for that. Yeah. Not the leaks. Not that she should not be punished for something she had no control of. That was an invasion of privacy. But the fact that there was evidence of her basically defacing the company. Yeah. With massive hot man goo. Ugh, I wouldn't know how hot it is. <laughs> um, but no, like, I mean, Shawn Michaels is taking pictures, like, for the WWE magazine back in the day of him naked with a belt around his dick. You know I mean? All that stuff. But, I mean, that's all just for fun. But, like, when you have some dude jerk off on the fucking belt, that's a little over the line. Yeah, I mean, it's not like Shawn Michaels was like, look at this. I'm going to put a shine on that motherfucker. You think he I'm banged? Do you think he banged Sonny wearing the belt? Probably, but he didn't take fucking pictures of it. 
Well, I mean, you got to think of the time. I mean, if it was back in the day, no. Hey, like, what if it happened now? Like, a Polaroid, like, oh, that motherfucker's gonna be worth thousands later. Shit, man, you can give fucking Sonny twelve dollars and a ham sandwich. He might just bang you on Skype. That know. just sounds <laughs> terrible. That's what she does. Um, she does Skype videos. Yeah, well, you got to make your money somehow. At least she, at least she got paid for it now for the the porn she was in. I haven't seen it, but I hear it's horrible. So. Other than her farting on his dick. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> oh. There you go, guys. Have that for your visual. All of y'all, get your YouTube bait out. Mm. <laughs> lots get your of, you porn out. Yeah, lots of bait, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> You're the side so bob, like... <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a lot of people who came out. Like, I mean, I think some of the pictures... I think Maria's wasn't leaked. I think... Hers were just, they found them <laughs> online. I mean, she takes pictures like that all the time. Yeah. Um, like, if you really start looking up all of the girls that are in WWE, like, Asuka did lingerie videos. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I never like, that. if you go and you dig, and you really want to get your hands dirty and find the dirt, you can find the dirt. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of a thing called uh, bedroom wrestling? Um, I mean, there's those things you can do on a Saturday night, but not the website. Well, no, there's videos. I've never seen them, but I've heard it from other like podcasts that wrestlers, you know, like indie wrestlers back in the day would get all like, you know, almost naked basically to wrestle on camera. You know, not stop porn, but you mean, it's whatever. Like Seth Rollins, (laughs) Seth Rollins has done it before he was in WWE. A bunch of other wrestlers have done it. (laughs) No, (laughs) Brody. (laughs) Did they cross the streams? <laughs> oh, man. They, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. I was going to go somewhere, but I'm just not going to get that fucked up with it. Uh, believe that. <laughs> um, believe that. Believe Sethi that. Poo. You got John Moxley doing some hardcore stuff, and they talking about drills in the face. <laughs> well, I mean, he did get extorted. To the, uh, uh, he did go to the ring with Trina Michaels. Who's that? She was a hardcore porn star that wanted to become a wrestler. All right. I mean, the like, both the industries so, are pretty close. <laughs> Especially back in the day. But you, you had Jasmine yeah, St. Clair and ECW. Well, yeah, but ECW was sleazy as fuck. I loved it. <laughs> Everybody loved it. What so, what the hell was her name? She did the uh, the strip tease when they fucking had the bad match or some shit. Uh, Katsumi? Oh, no, uh, it's not Kimura. Is it Kimura? No. Uh, the Asian chick, though. Kimura's a submission of old, yeah. Yeah, I forget. But, yeah, I know who you're talking about, though. Yeah, but um, let's, let's kind of get into more of the real wrestling stuff that's happened this week. That was the real wrestling stuff. That was the most pro wrestling thing ever. I, I, I can't argue with that. It's, it's fucking huge news. You mean a bunch of naked I do chicks everywhere. I New Day for how they handled it on Raw. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, weren't in front of the they, crowd, though. No, I wouldn't have put them in front of the Brooklyn crowd. But what's going to be? Fuck it's, that crowd, they're going to be in way. Philadelphia. Fuck they're they're going to be in Philadelphia next week, so it's not going to be any better. Yeah, but they're they they probably won't go in front of the crowd until Mania. Oh, that's going to be better. All the hardcore fans. <laughs> yeah, but it's in Orlando with a fucking hundred thousand, seventy thousand. I don't know how many they're trying to shove it in this fucking arena, but. I don't know. It was a uh, shit happens. So I didn't say Xavier was was kind of under underwhelming. Yeah, <laughs> he, was not, he was not packing the woods. New day, Cox. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably happen. Yeah, that, um, that one will probably. Happen. I, I I don't know, man. Like I, I think their privacy, like you said, you know, and it sucks. She is the victim victim on it, and so are a lot of the other girls who got their shit leaked, and. Yeah. Uh, but, you I mean, it is what it is. It's not, like, a big deal to me. I really don't give a shit. Um, you mean, it's cool, I guess. Hey, what's about? I guess something to talk about, you know, but really, it's probably going to make Paige more famous with her movie coming out. Well, there's 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 talks about that because The Rock's a PG character now. He's, he, I mean, unless he's on Raw, then he's an asshole. But call CM Punk and shit like that. But it's one of those things where... It can it can do a lot of damage. It's it's one of those things where in in the day and age of the cell phone, you know, there were a lot of young eyes that probably found those pictures and saw some shit. 
Yeah. And with a company that promotes themselves as PG, like, to me, Paige needs to probably not come back. And it's not even the fact of the pictures in the leak. <laughs> come Just... back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to. <laughs> Set that one up for you. Yeah, you did. T-ball. <laughs> She, yeah, fucking, she, you know, just put her right up on there. <laughs> Lowball it. <laughs> Did you say snowball it? Like, <laughs> oh, why do they call him snowball? <laughs> but I, I don't know, man. Like, I think if they do have Paige and she does clean up her act and her back, <laughs> uh, that they could be a good redemption story into it. It, it could be a good redemption story, but they're not going to talk about it. This isn't the Attitude Era. I mean, unless it's on SmackDown. I mean, they've already had, you know, grave desecration, arson, assault, battery, almost cannibalistic necrophilia. And a remake of Total Bellas. <laughs> and a remake of Total Bellas that was amazing. It was way better than the show was. <laughs> no, no, it was not. I don't know, man. Maurice as Nikki Bella and Brie Bella was pretty funny. And then you have the Miz. I want more of that. I, please give me more of that shit. But uh, unfortunately, I think, you know, now we're hopping into the wrestling, but I feel like they're they're kind of setting up for what I think the inevitable is going to be at Mania. Then John's going to propose to Nikki? He has to. It's, it's the fucking running joke. But Miz and Maurice have to win. Does, uh, does John Cena pull the Macho Man? He's like, Nikki Bella. Will you marry me? <laughs> you don't remember that when? when uh, no, I, I, I do remember Macho Man asking Miss Elizabeth, but it was, you know, I, I feel like it's going to come down to that point where like they they have to lose because it's got to get that huge happy ovation. I don't see it happen. I see John Cena winning, but then it's not as cool. I just see it because the whole thing is Maurice and The Miz are married. And they keep rubbing that in that they're the power couple and super French from Maurice. Mm -hmm. She's like an evil Celine Dion, which I didn't <laughs> know was more possible. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like Maurice to start doing like chest pounds and shit. But <laughs> but I do have to say the best Bella uh, cosplay I've ever seen goes to Breezy Bella. That's what I was going to ask you. Who did it better? <laughs> Breezy fucking Bella. Oh, man. Tyler Breeze is great on that. <laughs> is it implants falling out too? Um, but I mean, th honestly, that's one of the matches I'm looking the most forward to. You know what I'm not looking forward to at WrestleMania? Hmm. Any of the Raw matches? Um, I disagree. I wait, wait, sorry. Oh, Kevin Owens and Y2J. I want to see that. That's about it. That is so far the only one I can really give a shit about. I'm trying to think, man. I'm, Maybe a double and Neville. Well, that's, it'll, that's not Raw because it's supposed to be its own 205 thing. It's on Raw, but it's not at the same time. But yeah, I guess if you want to put, if you want to lump it, if you want to lump it with Raw, yeah. I mean, they're, the, the Raw carry, they're already at, I think, 11 matches. No, they're 14, I think. They're at 14 now? I believe so. Jesus fuck. Man, that's, that's, that's a lot of matches. I, I took the next day off. So I can actually go back and rewatch it because I'm probably gonna be drunk by the main event, even though it's only gonna be like two minutes. Oh, don't worry, man. Like that's how usually my WrestleManias usually are. Like last year, I don't remember. The last, the last two have been that way. Yeah, like when Seth Rollins cashed in that a couple of years ago, I was like, Hammer. I had to rewatch it because I was like, I think something really cool happened, but I gotta remember it. Like, <laughs> I was wasted. Lots of whiskey was flowing in my house. That a motherfucker. Yeah. Um. But with, with, with SmackDown, you know, it's such a better product. Yeah. Um, I mean, the I, Raw I a lot of things going on in there. Like, I like. You know, Raw is like TNA now. Ooh, that's brutal. Ooh, that's brutal. ooh ouch. That hurt, didn't it? it? It hurt a little bit. Yeah, that one stings a little. Well, do you want to go into some of the other news before we jump right into SmackDown and all the WrestleMania matches? Uh, sure, go for it. Well, I wanted to talk about something I, I wanted to talk about last week. We weren't able to. I got to watch the Ring of Honor pay-per-view when they were live oh. in Vegas. That was – it was cool. Uh, it was it was really heartfelt for Christopher Daniels. He beat Adam Cole for the Ring of Honor championship. And the way it went down was really cool because they had this idea that Frankie Kazarian turned on Daniels a few weeks prior and joined the Bullet Club. 
And when the referee got knocked out, I kind of saw it coming like a, a couple of days before. I was like, this is probably going to happen. But when the referee got knocked out, Kazarian came down and turned on Adam Cole and helped uh, Daniels win the title. So it it was it was fun. It was a good little thing. Um, uh, the match between Rapungi Vice, the Hardys, and uh, the Young Bucks was great. Bucks of Youth. The Bucks of Youth. Uh, there was one spot where they brought thumbtacks in a couple times, and Trent Beretta, man, I got to give credit to Trent Beretta because he's just a monster. Like he takes all these bumps and all this abuse, and he keeps going. But uh, the Young Bucks put thumbtacks in Beretta's mouth and did a super kick. Like oh, was, that was, shit again? Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, you know? Bucks. He got he got dropped on his back on the thumbtacks. He got kicked in the mouth with thumbtacks. He got dropped. Um, he got swanton through a table by the by Jeff for the. That's how they got the victory. Like Trevor Retta takes a beating, dude. And Trevor Retta was basically the whipping boy of the match. Do you remember their match at um at Wrestle Kingdom when it was the Young Bucks versus for Punky Vice and Trent did that dive and landed straight on his back? Oh my yeah 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 yeah. Like Trevor Retta just takes a fucking beating, man. Like I don't know why WWE got rid of him, but he definitely. Gives it his all. And Rapunky Vice is a good team. Style, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, the uh, the one thing I'm thinking about with, like, the Jericho Owens match is I feel like we're going to see the package power driver. Oh, man, that'd be cool. I hope they let him do it. It's, it's the only, like, Jericho feels like the only guy that, like, he'd be like, we got to do it. Because he's talking about the real Kevin Owens. Yeah. That, that was cool. cool. Do you see uh do you see Joe and Sami Zayn being a match at WrestleMania or no? Oh fucking Lee. I mean, cause like they're both not in anything right now, and it's like, well, Sami Zayn's amazing. What are you gonna do with Sami Zayn? Samoa Joe's a big deal right now. What do you do with Joe? They're probably gonna put Joe and Zayn in the battle royal and let Joe win it. What about Strowman? I don't fucking know. I hope Strowman gets put in that Undertaker Roman match to fucking take some of the weight off taker yeah i liked your idea too but we were talking about off air um say you rather it be a different match than undertaker and roman well dude i you know i, I got a giant undertaker flag in, in, in my my living room and i've loved the undertaker since i was a little kid but the motherfuckers paid his dues and like i know he wants to go but that face he made choke slamming Strowman. Is telling me a lot. He's not as thin as he used to be. He's not as limber as he used to be. He's gonna want to go super hard in the match and make it good, but it's it's not. It's gonna be brutal. It's gonna suck. See, and I'm not one of those guys who hate on Roman Reigns for the fact of hating on Roman Reigns, but usually Roman Reigns matches have to have someone do like all the ideas for him, you know. If you go against AJ Styles, Roman Reigns has a great match. You put Roman Reigns against Seth Rollins or Kevin Owens, they give you a great match. But with Undertaker being old and hurt, who's going to carry Roman and kind of lead him through this whole match? Well, I mean, if this is the swan song, Roman's supposed to lead the match. But I still feel that Strowman's going to... Strowman needs to be in the match. and Or take out Undertaker. I don't know. Like it, It's one of those things where, like... I don't want to be like no Undertaker at Mania this year, but it, no Undertaker at Mania this year. Like, you think he ha something has to happen with Strowman because if you think about it, before Undertaker came out, Strowman was in the ring, and then Undertaker came out, and then he left, and then Roman came out. So, nope. and Roman and Strowman already have all this heat on each other, and then this week Undertaker choke slams Strowman. So what? Yeah. Strowman's just gonna bitch out and walk away from all that? No, he needs to be in the fucking match. It needs to be a triple threat because then. Taker could technically take the loss, but not be pinned. It's such a cheap way to give Undertaker a loss at WrestleMania, though. And maybe it won't count as a loss. I don't really, I don't really know how that would work. Hmm. Um, but it just, I don't know, man. There's, you know, Shawn Michaels went out the right way. Flair went out the right way. Taker. I just, I just don't see it, man. I Unless just he don't... calls it a retirement match, it wouldn't be the same, though. But Roman keeps saying he's going to retire him, so it's got to come down to this week to them putting it up and saying, okay, you want my career? I want my yard. So if I win, 
you go to SmackDown and I take your place at Raw. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to say, what, an imaginary fucking yard? Like, that makes no sense. You're putting up your <laughs> career for, like, nothing. You have to bow my lawn for the next year. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and none of that Matt Hardy bullshit. Yeah, don't you be riding and making, like, crazy-ass designs. Fuck. You're not having to believe that in my f- fucking yard. <laughs> Undertaker's a, a real estate agent. It's like, you got to go mow all the grass from all the properties I'm trying to sell. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take care of Undertaker's yards. <laughs> yards. Plural. <laughs> Who's the big dog now? <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm not expecting great things. All the Raw matches besides... Besides Owens and Jericho, I'm not expecting much from. Let's 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 get into the women on Raw because they all suck except for Nia Jax. Mm, I don't agree with that. I think Charlotte's doing really well. Sorry, Charlotte's really good, but Charlotte shouldn't have lost. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree that with that. was like so. Yeah, we haven't really talked about Fastlane. It sucked. Next. <laughs> um, yeah, Fastlane was horrible. Fastlane was the worst pay per view I've seen in a long fucking time. Yeah, it was pretty fucking bad. Um, I I have the benefit of watching Fastlane, and then a week later watching Ring of, Ring of Honor, and it was just oh, yeah. night and day, dude. It was yeah. just wow. Like seeing Marty Squirrel versus Leo Rush, that was amazing. But then you have matches like let's have Rusev versus or no Ginger Mahal versus the Big Show. Like what? <laughs> Well, no, it was Rusev versus the Big Show. Like, I don't want to fucking see that. Like, Dude, Rusev got in trouble for cutting his hair. What a stupid reason to get in trouble, too. Oh, I don't like that you cut your hair. It makes perfect sense. He's calling himself Handsome Rusev. Handsome Rusev. Which is oh, amazing. Oh, I love it. I He's highly enjoy it. He's the best baby face ever. Yeah. I just... You know, I, like, doing, like, the, the, the fucking super sleazy Rusev with Lana... Mm-hmm. Calling everybody sweet hogs, giving a little Rick Rude <laughs> fucking thing. That would be funny. Yeah, um, so I'm not sure. I think we weren't able to do it because I think our episode got deleted last time. But uh, yeah, Rick Rude is in the Hall of Fame. Um, now we also – who's all in there? There's Kurt Angle, Rick Rude, uh, the Rock and Roll Express, Diamond Beth Dallas Phoenix. Page, Beth Phoenix. And, um, oh my god, I don't remember the, the, the legend for the, the Warrior Award. Oh, Teddy Long's getting there now. Playa, playa, holla, holla. Um, the guy uh, for the Warrior Pat, Award, baby. uh, the Warrior Award is a football player who was in college who got hurt, and he's like, oh, you're never gonna walk again, and now he's, like, trying to, uh, he's been doing a lot of inspirational things. I forget his name offhand, but, like, yeah, he's a big inspiration to a lot of people. Oh, this, oh, well, NXT just, uh, uh, did you watch NXT yet? I did, and I was actually going to get into that. If you're ready, if you want to talk about it. I have not watched it, but uh, I I got everything right here in my hand. Okay, well, if you're going to watch anything in this, uh, for one, um, Heidi Lovelace makes her her debut. Ruby Riot. Yeah, she'll be Ruby Riot. Yeah, Um, they don't say who it is. They're like, who's this mysterious woman? But uh, she looks badass. She she handled business she in there. Out Nikki Cross. Yeah, she was going after Nikki Cross. So I'm sure that's going to happen at a at um the takeover. Paper, takeover. But the match that you need to watch on this, and when I first saw him, I wasn't really big on him. But he, the more I've seen of him, the more matches he's getting better. Is Andrade Cien Almas like that guy? Like he had a match with. Uh, I love oh, Andre Cien. Yeah, he especially lately when he first came in. The baby face, yeah, when he when he came in as a baby face, I didn't like it. But uh, he is he's turned me to like him a lot. He's he even doing he, he's doing the Naito thing. That's he's true. doing well. He's doing like a mix of that and Naito. It's great. Like he, he does like the he dodges out of the way and he lays on the mat just like with his arm up like that. And I'm like, oh, Naito. Los Ingobernables de Japón. That's what they should, uh, they should bring him in. <laughs> but um, the match was great. It reminded me a lot of New Japan at the end. A lot of hard hitting, a lot of kickouts. Um, it was just well, really good. I noticed that, that since Wrestle Kingdom has happened, I noticed changing a lot of style. Mm-hmm. You're seeing a lot more of the strong style. You're seeing what people have been asking for. It's on harder NXT, on NXT at least. At least in NXT, yeah. The that match between Neville and. Who was it? TJ Perkins, I think, the, the night after Fastlane. No, uh, Neville and Rich Swan, the night after Fastlane. That match fucking killed. Is he still hurt? Swan is back. 
Oh, is he? Okay, because I know he was injured for a while. He was hurt for a minute. That's why he fought Neville after Fastlane. That was the match after he'd, he'd come back from injury. Oh, okay. But he hurt himself since then. Did he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know Cedric I, Alexander's I, I, out for a few months. Fucking, that's I'm fine with that. I like Cedric Alexander. I like Cedric, but I don't like Alicia Fox, and I want her to be away from all of that. Yeah, that, there's no reason for that, because, like, dude, Noam Dar is great as himself. He doesn't need, you know, I guess it gives him a character, but he's such a good wrestler. WB. No. The E wants entertainment with some <laughs> wrestling. Yeah, a little bit of wrestling, a lot uh, more bullshit. Do you know where the sports entertainment really came in? And this was this was found on this weird foreign object that looks a lot like one of these, this VHS tape. Oh, I'll say it's not the thing that uh, Paige shoved in her ass, right? <laughs> uh, Man. It's going to be the running theme. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 20, 2017, the year of butt sex in WWE. <laughs> and, you know, uh, WCW. Anal ways. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just ram it right up your poop chute. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's always been entertainment in wrestling. You know what I mean? Come on. Like, let's look at, like, Captain Lou Albano or, you know, Cindy Lauper or WCW had Rodman and Malone and all those people. I mean, there's always going to be Did entertainment. Rodman win the title, though? I don't think he won the title, no. No, David Arquette won the title, though. Yeah, he won the title. Yeah, this is, like, one of the worst the actual fuck. David Arquette was a heavyweight champion of the world mm-hmm. for WCW. Yeah. That he was, that he was, and that was fucking ridiculous. And I understand why I wonder. I understand why Vince Russo did it, and he's explained it himself. He's like, that's the most that someone's ever talked about WCW, and in his eyes, there's no such thing as bad publicity. But there is no such thing as bad publicity unless you're shoving things in your ass. I don't know. Paige might get more famous because of it. Um, For shoving things in her ass, I'm sure Vivid called her that day. <laughs> oh, I know, right? You're already doing it for free. Why not make some money? <laughs> you want to make a lot of money? When your contract's up, call us. Even Marie's in line, too. Oh, man. Please I... let Even Marie win the title up mania. Please. Is she going to let fucking Jonathan jizz on that belt, too? <laughs> no, that's... There's no, no, just... Like, don't just don't videotape it, you fucking idiots. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Like, I... I... Stupid idiots. I, I don't know why they had to do that with the belt, but I mean, whatever. I don't care that Paige had sex. She's a at that point, she was a nineteen year old chick, dude. Dude, get your fuck on. Like, yeah, seriously, go fuck. bang it out, dude. Bang it, it out. Sex. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with the title. <laughs> Nick's like, I don't give a fuck that you got banged. Don't mess up the belt. <laughs> seriously, like every girl there has kissed that fucking belt. Oh yeah, and I've, now I've read a lot about Maddox that. Is dick. Yeah, Brad Maddox must be like, yeah, girl, kiss that belt. <laughs> oh, I'm sure every time he saw it, I was like, oh, God, I'm such a dick. <laughs> My dick was on that belt, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anyways. Bad Braddox. <laughs> Cock Maddox. You bunch of pricks. <laughs> cocky pricks. Um, yeah, he was a cocky prick. Yeah. All over her face. Wah, wah. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I'm sorry, Paige. If you ever do hear this, I hope you do. I love you. Not really, but you know. Thanks for being Keep up the good work. Thanks for being nice to my sister. That's as far as I'm gonna go with saying nice things about her right now. <laughs> she was I, nice to your sister? I guess uh because my uh my stepmom works at the arena. During around WrestleMania weekend, I guess my sister met her just walking around and she was really nice to her. I mean so. So that, that brings up a good point. Wrestlers that are dicks. Oh, more Brad Maddox. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier Woods. I'm looking at you. No. I mean, honestly, like you're a sports entertainer. And like, you know, I read stories where people are like, so-and-so didn't want to do this. And so somebody brought up the whole thing of like the etiquette of talking to a superstar. Don't interrupt them when they're fucking working out. That's wrong. Yeah. Don't coach them while they're eating. That's wrong. But if they're like out on the streets, not a baggage claim. Not just get into the fucking hotel, but, like, it's such a fine line between when it's okay and not okay. You know what I mean? Think of them as just a normal a normal person. I don't give a fuck. Like, unless you're, like, good friends, if someone's eating, you don't go bother them at a restaurant. That's just, well, like, common knowledge. Yeah. Like, when I met Ray Mysterio. Mm-hmm. Where'd you meet him? I, 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 I don't know if I told the story on the air, but 
it was one of those moments of, of wrestle nerddom that I can hold really happy because Rey Mysterio for a minute wrestled without a mask. So I know what his face looks like. And uh, I went to Disneyland with a friend of mine many, many, many years ago. And we were in uh, Frontierland because I had to take a piss. So I go in the bathroom, fucking take a piss, and this is a dude standing next to me. Turn around, we both we start washing our hands. And I look over and I'm like, man, you, you, you know, do you ever get that you look like Rey Mysterio? He goes, well, well it's, I am Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right, cool. High five. Give him a high five. Asked him how he was doing. Said he was good. There with his family. Said, cool, have a nice day. I looked at him, didn't ask him for a photo, didn't ask him for a fucking autograph. Yeah. But I have a great memory of meeting Rey Mysterio in a Disneyland bathroom. Awkward yeah. as shit. <laughs> that's how I kind of like to be too. It's just like, dude, they're just people. You I mean I'm not gonna yeah. bug them? Um, that's kind of it. Kind of happened up here actually. I uh, I there's a rapper who I like, and uh, he's two chains, right? Yeah, two chains. Yeah, no. Um, or Machine Gun Kelly. Oh yeah. Um, but no, it was a guy named uh, G Mo Ski. I'm not a big fan of like all of the of the uh, G Mo Ski. He's Ooh. now he's, he's signed Ooh. with all the Juggalo stuff. But I mean, before that, he's from like he's from uh. Ri- he's from Richmond, and he's really good. I hate ICP and all that shit, so I was kind of sad that he got to that label, but good for him for making it big, whatever. Um, but, like, I was in Safeway with Tina one day, and I was like, oh, cool, that guy's wearing a Gmo shirt. And he's like, oh, yeah, thanks, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm Gmo, by the way. And I'm like, oh, shit, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, and it's like... You're wearing the clothing, you had to wear your own. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, like, I, I saw him a couple <laughs> days ago, too, because he lives up here now. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to be like, oh, dude, can I get a picture? Can I get an autograph? It's like, oh, cool, you're shopping. Have a good day. You know? Like, you should ask him if he likes wrestling. Yeah, right. I know he likes uh, uh, video games. Get Gmo on the show. Yeah, what's up, dog? You want to get on this? I'll, I'll interview him as only Bimo. <laughs> Bimo. <laughs> you guys are not cool. <laughs> yeah, but no, he, he's a he's a nice guy. You know, I mean, he's just a normal dude. So, I mean, when you see somebody out there, don't be a dick to him. Like, you know, just anybody. Yeah. Like, you're, they're, they're just human beings doing their job. Like, Rey Mysterio, you didn't say, hey, let me get, like, 18 pictures to get him signed to sell on eBay. They're like, hey, I like what you do. Have a good day, man. Later. Yeah, or I, I, you know, high five if Xavier Wood and say, "Way to use protection." <laughs> you should let him borrow your socks as a dick fucking. Uh, as a dick protector. Yeah. Yo, I got these New Day socks. They're great to. Uh, never, you know, no, I'm not gonna go that far with it. <laughs> they catch stuff. <laughs> they catch things. Why are they so crunchy? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. They're so hard. Oh God, that's what Paige said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, but yeah, no, we were talking about this too, um, that I really want to get into because we're talking about Ring of Honor. Rumor on the street is WWE is talking to Sinclair about buying Ring of Honor. This makes me extremely sad because if they buy it out, they're going to put Ring of Honor on their network and that's fine because I'll get to watch more Ring of Honor and I'm all good with that. The thing is they're going to really fuck up Ring of Honor, and that's going to be sad for me. Like, I like the style that Ring of Honor has, and I don't want to see that get messed up. So, I don't know, man. I don't I don't want the old WWE, like, you know, the franchise, the way they wrestle, I don't want it to be like that. Well, that's the thing. is like, I mean, if they're going to put Ring of Honor, Honor on the network, they need to let Ring of Honor be Ring of Honor. Oh, like the way they made ECW let them be ECW? <laughs> Uh, let's not talk about that. I just, that's what Fuck I'm afraid. I'm afraid they're going to bastardize it, and I just don't want that to happen. I don't know. I think that they, the, WWE wants the monopoly in the Americas. They want... Do you think... Did you know the G-spot is the gateway to your soul? Huh? <laughs> so did you know the G-spot is the gateway to your soul? Oh, if you ask Christians. <laughs> I don't know. I've had an orgasm. I've seen my body out of itself. <laughs> All over her face. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh, poor champ. <laughs> TV poor champ. champ. <laughs> um, but I would say, like, you know, what's going on with Ring of Honor? It's kind of like what happened with WCW. But the same thing, they've almost done this to TNA a hell of times. So let's see what's really going to happen. Like, let's see if this actually goes down. But I, I, I mean, it's going to take some fucking acts of supernatural beings mm-hmm. to uh, pull that shit off. But I don't know. Um, I another thing that's kind of been kind of crazy is now WWE has officially been in talks and already put a deal on the table for the Hardys to come in. And I'm assuming it, uh, 
at uh, WrestleMania. And I'm assuming what's going to happen, since the Usos just won the belt on SmackDown, beating American Alpha, that gives them a prime spot. It's like, we'll face anybody. Boopity boo, we'll face anybody. And it's like, okay, well, here's your anybody, the Hardys. Yeah, but let's, I was just thinking about this. I do not want the Hardy boys with no. a Z to fucking show up. The thing that scares me is what they did with the Dudleys. They brought him back as just the Dudleys, and that scares the shit out of me. I And I think that's what they're fighting on. They're fighting on scheduling and probably what they can do because TNA's locking them up. Uh, Don Tony and Kevin Castle brought up a really good point on their show. Shout out to those guys. Good show. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were like, you know, the legality of what is theirs and what's not. And that's – no one's come up and said, yes, this is all theirs. No, it's not theirs. It's a lot of he says, she says bullshit. Huh, can't let this get. Damn it. <laughs> this is WrestleMania 7 X7 with the, the My Way theme song. So Undertaker's going to hug Fred Durst? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That happened. That's Keep on up. rolling, baby. <laughs> oh, God, he's going to pound his chest and hit his leg. <laughs> yeah. Isn't Fred Durst really not allowed to WWE that's anymore because he flipped off the camera Biker at SummerSlam? That's what I want. What? Biker Taker to show up at Mania. That's where the his yard thing came from. That's the thing. is that They're like, it's my yard. I'm like, but that wasn't really a dead man thing. Like, Yeah. That was, that was Biker Taker. I bet, it I bet they do. That's just all the yard talk. I bet he comes out on a motorcycle. Oh, it'd be so fucking cool. Yeah. Just keep rolling, rolling. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> can you imagine, though? I can already see it, dude. Dong. And we're not talking about Brad Maddox. <laughs> Dong. Uh, Let's go out. Uh, keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. No! <laughs> you know, that place would go ape shit. It would. Oh, man. But Limp Bizkit getting his second life at WrestleMania. No. Yeah. Oh, no, they changed the theme song. They couldn't use Kid Rock because he's... I mean, they could use him, but he's affiliated with the wrong party right now. Um, yeah. But they're friends, anyway. they're friends with WWE. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything Trump, I'm sure fucking Vince is all about. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, half of his client half of his fucking people are from other countries it's true it's true they go to other countries like he cannot take a side yeah he has to be neutral like switzerland like cesaro <laughs> cesaro is super neutral you know that match between uh gallows and anderson and cesaro and sheamus like if they didn't have uh big Kaz and enzo in there i think that could have been a really good match that was the dumbest fucking booking. Oh, dude, a lot ever. of it was stupid. A lot of it was really dumb on Raw. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Do you think Kurt Angle's going to come in as the GM? Mm, he's going to come in as something. I don't know. I know that Angle wants to fight Styles, so we'll have to see how that goes. SummerSlam, Angles, Styles. Well, if he's the GM, what are they going to do? Have him fight... I think there's going to be a stipulation added to the Shane AJ match about if AJ wins, mm-hmm. he can leave the brand. They do want to put him on Raw. They do want to put him on Raw. Well, the draft's coming up, and they've already put out rules for the draft. What are the rules? You cannot take a champion. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> so they put out a rule. They didn't put out rules. <laughs> <laughs> there should well it's it's not gonna be as as vast. It's like I think they're gonna be probably five to ten people are gonna get switched around. Okay. Cause I mean if they shook up the whole roster, that's fucked up. It'd be crazy. Like, so <laughs> I mean I guess. I mean as long as it makes it all right, I mean it makes it more entertaining, I'm down for it. Yeah. I mean I don't know. SmackDown is still the far superior product, and I think that's pissing people off on the Raw side. Yeah, I'm assuming it is. And it's like, well, this is the flagship show. Why are we doing so shitty? I'm like, well, first off, it's three fucking hours. Secondly, just the stories you're telling are shit. Yeah. Um, Is there any, like, you know, surprises or any kind of cool things you want to see happen to WrestleMania besides maybe the Hardys? The Undertaker retire. Uh, Brock Lesnar lose would be awesome. 
I don't know. I'm so tired of fucking Goldberg, dude. I'm just so tired of him. I mean, I didn't, yeah, I didn't like him in the first place, so I would like to see but here's the thing. They're going to put the belt on, on Lesnar, right? The next mm-hmm. pay-per-view after that is payback. Now, Goldberg doesn't necessarily get a rematch clause, but if you're a champion, you are always guaranteed a rematch clause. Yeah. So. What if Brock just breaks know. him in half? <laughs> Old Bird. Uh, just, that match is gonna suck. That should open the show. Old Turd. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I would like to see Luke Harper uh, on Mania in a in a singles match. I'm sure he'll be the Andre Battle Royal. Yeah, but fuck that. Like Harper is such a good fucking worker and such a good yeah. wrestler. Yeah, I know he is. Um, did you think when they uh when Randy Orton got beat up by all those sheep, did you expect maybe Eric Rowan to pull off one of those masks? Well, they're all dressed like Eric Rowan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I was like, almost expecting him. I know he can wrestle now. No, I, I have the feeling they're saving Rowan to show up at Mania to keep the belt on Wyatt. Because so. you know the Raw's, you know Raw's belt's changing hands. Yeah. Now the last pay per view that had both titles change was WrestleMania 20 or 21, where both titles had changed hands. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. I think Owens is going to get the belt. So let's let's kind of think about it. Owens is probably going to get it. Goldberg is probably going to lose. So that'd be Lesnar. So you have Lesnar, Lesnar and what do you think about the women's championship? Uh, it'll stay on Bailey. It'll probably come off Alexa Bliss to like maybe Oscar. Emma Oscar. <laughs> if Oscar loses, <laughs> yeah, but Oscar's facing Ember Moon, and I don't see Ember Moon as a champion. I think the champion, but just not against Oscar. Like I don't know. It just it doesn't make any sense unless it's like the the shocking thing. But you already know Nakamura is going to lose too. Yeah. And that sucks. Like, oh, not. I'm happy you said that. I'm happy, actually, happy you said that about Ring of um of TNA or NXT. Uh, Alistair Black is going to make his debut against CN at uh, Takeover. Ooh, Tommy, 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 fucking end. Yeah, it's it's going to be cool. Like, um, especially the way that CN's been lately. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, but Alistair Black's a heel and super satanic. Well, we don't know like, how he's going to be. Have I mean, you not seen the vignettes? There's, uh, they're no, I evil. Have. I have, but you know I mean, who knows? They might be the good guy in this because he's the new incoming guy. He doesn't really have a character. Yeah. I don't know. I feel, I feel like if CN actually loses at, at there, maybe he'll go up to the main roster, but I feel like he should stay down there. But Elias Sampson's uh, probably going to be going up. I don't know why. I don't see why. That is fucking horrible. Why the fuck would you bring him up? I would like to see a twist Dalbert, where I like put him with. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna put him with like Breezango. What I'd like to see is I'd like They're to see um, um, Hero lose and have Hero go up. You know, it'd be really surprising and have him have him go back and uh, team with Cesaro and Sheamus. That would be cool, but I, I don't know. Kings of wrestling, I... man. Kings of wrestling. Their dude Cesaro and him, dude, when they were in Ring of Honor, they were a great tag team. When Cesaro had hair? I have very little of it, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I see the, the, the world of wrestling right now should change a little bit. And the NXT guys, they like they need to build characters right now. And that's that's been the struggle in the last year. Is when the draft happened, they got gutted. Well, there's a lot of things going to be happening to NXT, at least, in the next couple months. When you got Tommy N coming in. I mean, that's going to be big. Um, you got Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot's there. Um, they just signed uh, two of the greatest Japanese wrestling women. Who? Oh, fuck. I don't remember her name. She was... Did you watch Lucha Underground when Pentagon Jr. had to fight... When he was still Pentagon Jr. had to fight the triads? No, but I remember you telling me about it. And I know one of them got yeah. signed. Two of those girls were at triads. One of them did get signed, and they're fucking incredible. You know, Mary they Dobson... Can... Mary Dobson's down there, too. I don't know why she hasn't made her debut yet. So probably breaking her style, keeping her, you know. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, WrestleMania is seven fucking hours long. It's going to be pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Also, there's no ladder match this year. No, no, no ladder match. There's no ladder match. Uh, I have a hard time seeing that. I think it's something's going to happen. There'll probably be like some pre-show where it's like, all the cruiserweights, get on a ladder. 
You all just no, no, don't don't do anything. Just talk on the ladders. Yeah, you guys just it worked chill. really well the last time they did that. No, I feel like Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin is going to be the fun gimmick match. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see. I just that. hope it's not a forklift match. I'd be like, what the fuck is a forklift match? <laughs> exactly. Can we get the Ambrose Asylum? That'd be fun. I mean, I actually didn't mind that. All the weapons hanging off and stuff. That was cool. Yeah, I had fun with that. And Jericho and him had a blast. Like, Yeah, Jericho's a piece for that shit. Um, Mania, Mania, to me, has me a little... It's very lackluster. I'm thrilled for the thrill ride. Yeah. It's like going to the kitty the kitty rides of Great America. It ain't that great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, all right, fucking that's what's going to happen. You went on Top Gun, man. You're on, you're on some Mickey Mouse ride. Yeah. So I just, uh, I really hope the set is a roller coaster, though. That works. That would be kind of cool. So it's constantly like a roller coaster, like jetting around the ring. And then Dean <laughs> freaking fight on a roller coaster. And he throws Baron Corbin off the roller coaster. What if it's like the old school WrestleMania? So, you know, they come out like, you know, in the ring. You know, the old school the when they come ring, out? The little ring drivers. But it's, this time it's just a roller coaster that takes you to the ring. Uh, you gotta get Buck and they just launch him to the ring. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Oh, my God, there's no match. The fucking roller coaster broke. By God, he killed him. <laughs> oh, we can't be saying that shit right now. Oh, right. fucking hey. Um, But, yeah, is there anything else you want to get into before we get out of here? Um... I mean, SmackDown was cool. Usos won the belts. Alexa Bliss is still the best thing they got going. They had to finally change Mickey James's top so her boobs stopped falling out. <laughs> Boo on that. Um, it's not important. It was. It was. You know. I can't think of any. You know, I would love to see a bra and panties about. match at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh no, it's not gonna happen at all. <laughs> bra and panties match <laughs> bra and panties match Paige is a referee and she's going she's going to be shirts for skins and she's going to be the skins <laughs> they will have some other chick wearing a lingerie wait, wait, she'll be the shirts. bra and panties match between Brad Maddox and Xavier Woods with Paige the ref yeah <laughs> evening gown match <laughs> elephant trunk match <laughs> uh, I think Maddox is going to win that one quickly <laughs> You know, it didn't seem like either of them were packing too much heat. <laughs> oh, man. How big is Batista's dick? <laughs> Where's Batista when you needed him? <laughs> yeah, no shit. It makes you wonder uh, who banged more chicks in the wrestling industry. Ma- Brad Maddox, um, Batista, or CM Punk? Rick Rude. I think Rick... I don't know if Rick Rude really got around like that. I know that was his gimmick. I don't know. Joey Ryan's got the sleeves gimmick, but he's super married and like a, a great little nice person yeah who probably trusts very the shit out of him. <laughs> it's like i know this is all a gimmick <laughs> actually yeah i'm uh so i'm going to the apw thing at the coliseum motherfucking gangrel's wrestling that's exciting uh gangrel's gonna be there x Pac's gonna be there chris masters is gonna be there chicano flame is gonna be there Willie motherfucking Mac is going to be there. <laughs> the American Nightmare is going to be there. The American Nightmare is going to be there. Amanda's excited to see Cody again. Yeah. yeah she might She might get a, a, a Bullet Club shirt that night. About time you fucking switch over. <laughs> it's too sweet, Amanda. It's too sweet. <laughs> I, just, I, I told you about the wedding that I went to, right? Mm, kind of not really so we went to a, we went to a wedding recently and uh i got you know super drunk surprise 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 <laughs> surprise and uh proceeded to sweet as many people as i could oh, nice. at the wedding and some people knew what it was and they got like the little explosion at the end nice. other people i had to like really explain because they'd be like they give me like this like wonky fucked up like ram slug thing and be like no no do it right and then I tried to do the bus driver, and he said, no, that's evil. Oh, my God. <laughs> he likes Jesus. Ah, oh, so what? So does Cody, I'm sure. You know, his family was all, seemed like they're religious people. No, well, that was the thing. I was like, you? He's like, it's, it's the devil horns. I'm like, it's the too sweet, man. Yeah, get, get it right. Get it right. Yeah, whatever. Banana slug. 
<laughs> I mean, that's the one thing I don't like about religion. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, I'm all about people getting hope and like, you know, all the stuff they believe in. That's their shit. That's fine. But when you think like, oh yeah, this is evil. This is evil. This is evil. It's like, what the fuck is evil about giving someone basically a high five, but it's just too sweet. Like, oh, yeah, it's evil. Well, yeah. Rock and roll is evil. It's like, they talk about this. Like what? It's just a story, man. Like, dude, like the party gremlins. Like when I used to be in that band, do you think I did it nine tenths of the things that I'd sang, sang about? No. Look at death metal. Dude. Yes. Okay, yes, stop. you did. Like a lot of them I did. Yes, you did, you asshole. <laughs> I'm trying to pl- I'm trying to be the baby face here, okay? <laughs> you're not a baby face, especially if you're singing for the party gremlins. Yeah, you're I'm, a gremlin. I'm a villain. <laughs> you, you're not the villain. <laughs> no, not I, the villain. I've taken well, the villain. <laughs> um, but no, but like say say Cannibal Corpse. You don't see those guys killing people and doing all this crazy shit. You know, fucking chicks with That's a knife. No, horse. it's it's a story, man. It's a fucking story. Oh, it's evil. No, man, it's just creative writing. I'm sorry that you're not that creative. Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. Well. They didn't write the Bible, okay? They just read it. They just read it. Okay. Which version? <laughs> so, you I mean, I don't know, man. It's just, I, I think when it comes down to shit like that, people just need to get off of it and be like, hey, dude, it's cool. It's too sweet. Woo, you know? Um, I well, tried to get him to Rick Blair strut too, and he wouldn't do it. Hey, don't worry, man. I'm an ordained minister, so I'll too sweet you when I see you. So, yeah, that's actually a true story. I'm actually an ordained minister. Really? I am. Yeah, a, I, I got an ordained one sitting on my couch right now too. I was yeah. thinking about getting my uh, my ordainment. I uh, yeah. How many do you have? I have one. I married Chris and Gianna together. Oh shit. Catch Dude, up, Dan, Danny, Danny says you need one more, and then we're gonna have a blow off wedding. <laughs> you can blow me off anytime he wants. <laughs> more uh, paid stuff. <laughs> uh, paid stuff. Hey, Danny, can you turn that page right there? <laughs> 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 well, I think we're gonna end it on that note. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, if you guys are bored and you're trying to listen to our bullshit, check out some really good wrestling podcasts with uh. Wrestling Soup, Don, Co- Don Tony Kevin Castle Show, it's all about your sounds off. Check out Knuckle Up. Um, we've got a lot of news recently from NoDQ.com because they're really cool over there, so check them out. Um, always find our episodes on Mixcloud and YouTube. Find us on Twitter under Wrestle Gremlins and Facebook.com under the Wrestling Gremlins Podcast. And uh, don't get come on your eye, page. I am Bobby. That is Nick. Good night. Don't come on the fucking bell. <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs>